think you know. Oh, hmm? You ever have any idea? Yeah, I know. It's not an English word, is it? It's not. But it's a word that they use for praise, for worship. Long, long time ago, before any of you were born. How many of you are 20 years old yet? Are you 20 years old? Are you really 20 years old? No. <laughs> yeah, and then some. Does anybody know who the Arizona Diamondbacks are? Who are the Arizona Diamondbacks, Andrew? Baseball team. Whose baseball team? Arizona's. Arizona's. Where do we live? Arizona. Was your hand up? Where do we live? Phoenix. Phoenix. Well, some of us live in Phoenix. Some of us live in Chandler. Some of us live in Tempe and and Mesa and and other. Where? Somebody else say. Where do you live? Where do you live? Phoenix. Oh, no, I was going to say Mesa. What were you going to say? I was going to say Mesa's a city. Yes, Mesa's a city. And so is Tempe and Chandler and Scottsdale and Phoenix and all cities. But they're all in Arizona. And we have a baseball team called the Arizona Diamondbacks. Now, Asleep. You may not know this. That's okay. Just let me see. There was one year that the Diamondbacks were really good. They were really good. Now, let me ask you this. Who knows what the the championship of baseball is called? Who knows what it's called? No clue. Oh, you guys aren't sports fans, are you? No. Uh, oh my goodness. Uh, oh, you're just not into baseball? That's it. Yeah. She's into basketball. Well, do you know what the basketball championship is called? No? Oh, you're just into basketball. Okay. What do you think, Solomon? Um, I don't play baseball, but I just play soccer and and basketball. That's cool. I played soccer in school. I used to play soccer. Xander? There you go. Has anybody heard of anything called the World Series? You ever, anybody ever heard of the World Series? Reagan's heard of the World Series. What do you think of it? What, what is the World Series? championship. The team that wins the World Series is considered the best team in professional baseball. And one year, this is 20 years ago, the Diamondbacks were that one team. And I remember when the Diamondbacks won the World Series and I was sitting at home watching it on TV and I'm going, yeah, 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 whoa! Because that's what people do when they go to, they go to games, right? Yeah. You guys ever been to a game and see people go, ah! Maybe they paint their faces up all, all sorts of weird designs, yes. right? You, you ever seen that on TV? Yeah. But this day, it was after the Diamondbacks won the championship, they had a parade. It was downtown Phoenix. They had fire trucks. And they had all, they had all marching bands. And they had everybody from the Diamondbacks was riding some kind of a car or a pickup truck or a... They had one guy, his name is Randy Johnson. Randy Johnson was huge. He's six foot ten. That means he's about this tall. That's how tall he is. Seriously tall guy. And he was, he was the star pitcher. And when he came riding down on the dump, or dump truck, on the fire truck, everybody goes, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what Hosanna is all about. When you're so happy to see somebody 
and you get all excited and you just scream out, you're so excited. That's what it means when we say Hosanna. Now why, are, why do we get excited in church? Because Jesus meets us here. Now, there was a reason that people were singing Hosanna to Jesus this one day. You see, there was a man who had died. And for four days, he laid in the grave. Four days. And they called Jesus and they said, come. And Jesus kind of delayed. He didn't come right away. And he died. And when Jesus finally got there, they said, he's been four days in the grave. Jesus, you're too late. And you know what Jesus did? He said, show me where he is. Show me where he is. Keep it on or... Keep it in your lap. He says, show me where the man is. And his name was Lazarus. And he went up to the, where Lazarus' grave was. They used to bury people in caves back then. And he's, there was a big stone in front of the cave because they didn't want anybody getting in there. And he said, roll the stone away. And one of his sisters, Lazarus' sisters, said, wait a minute, Jesus, he's been in the grave for four days. He stinks. You ever come across a dead animal? Yes. They stink, don't they? You ever come across a dead animal? They stink. Dead skunks. Dead skunks. Well, skunks stink when they're alive. <laughs> they stink when they're dead. Really? I mean, really. Skunks, skunks just stink. They only spray you because... One day, one day when we get to heaven, I'm going to ask Jesus, why'd you make skunks? They stink. Seriously. They stink. But when a when a when a dead body or a, you know either an animal or they stink because they begin to break down. And his sister said, "Jesus, you don't want to do that. He's been dead four days. He stinks." Jesus said, "Roll it away." And then he stood outside the cave, and with a loud voice he said, "Lazarus, come out." Wait a minute, he's talking to a dead guy. Do dead people hear? Do dead people hear? All of a sudden, you heard a noise inside the cave. And here comes, he's wrapped up. He's moving like this. His face is all wrapped up. And he's just moving like this. Wait a minute, he's supposed to be dead. Why is, he, why is he walking? Why did he hear me? Dead people don't hear. And he's walking out. It's Lazarus. You see, when Jesus spoke, Lazarus was no longer dead. Lazarus came alive. And when the people heard that, and they, he said, untie him, let him go. A few days later, Jesus was going into Jerusalem. Now, Word of this had gotten out, and people go, wow, this, this guy, Jesus, he's something else. You know, they said that the Messiah was going to come. He was going to come, and he was going to be the king, and he was going to get rid of everybody that's doing bad things to us. This guy must be the Messiah. And so they're getting all excited. Here he comes. He's coming into the... Jesus had told his disciples, hey, and those of you who were this morning in the service, you, you might have heard pastor making mention of this. He said, hey, go get a donkey. There's this one donkey go, that he's tied up. Go get him. Unloose them. Now, think about that. If, if somebody can, think about for a second. Close your eyes. Everybody 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 close your eyes. Get participation points, do you? No. Because I want you to think about your favorite toy. Your favorite, your favorite toy. Think about your favorite toy or, or something that you like the most. And somebody comes and wants to take it from you. What are you going to do? You can open your eyes now. What are you going to do when somebody comes and they're going to take it from you? Say, hey, that's mine. That's right, that's mine. That's mine. You're not taking it from me. This guy, he 
comes out and these, these, these guys are taking his donkey away. And he said, what are you doing? They said, Jesus needs him. Oh, well, why did you say so? Okay, go ahead, take him. Think about that. Would you let somebody take your favorite toy? They said, Jesus needs it. And took it. But see, Jesus already knew that the guy would let him, let him have it. So here, 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 here he comes, and they put Jesus on the donkey, and he's riding into the city. And the people heard that Jesus was coming. Jesus was coming. And those of you who have your Bibles this morning, if you have your Bible this morning, I want you to turn to John, chop, uh, John chapter 12. John chapter 12. I can talk. Turn to John chapter 12, Bill. No? <laughs> what does it sound like an old man? If you need help uh, finding it, let me know. If you need help, Miss Faith will help you find John chapter 12. Chapter? Find that chapter. Okay, has everybody, has everybody found John chapter 12? Not me. Oh, yes. Yep. Okay. You don't mind? Right let's, oh, let's see. It's going to be back farther back here. You don't have the chapters and verses. So let's see if I can find the story. Let's look at the shoes. Not there. It's not there. Buddy, I don't think you have that story in your Bible. I don't have it. Oh, no, that's not it. Okay. Well, I passed it. If it's in, oh, there it is. There it is. John, that would be John chapter 12. John, look for a big number 12. Okay, that's it right there. Start right there. And here, they're talking about then, six days before the Passover, Jesus came to Bethany where Lazarus was, who had been dead, whom he raised from the dead, and they made him a supper. Martha served, but Lazarus was one of those who sat at the table with him. And I'm going to skip down to, I'm going to skip down to verse 12, chapter 12, verse 12. So those of you that have your Bibles, go down to verse 12. It'll be a little number that says 12. It says, the next day a great multitude that had come to the feast, when they heard that Jesus was coming to Jerusalem, they took branches of palm trees and went out to meet him and cried out, Hosanna! Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, the King of Israel! And Jesus, when he had found a young donkey, sat on it, as is written, Fear not, daughter of Zion, behold, your king is coming, sitting on a donkey's colt. And the disciples did not understand these things at first. The people were so excited. They were so excited to see Jesus. They said, Jesus is coming. Jesus is coming. He's coming. He's coming here. Jesus is coming here. He's coming. He's coming. And everybody, they, they cut down the palm tree. Well, not the palm trees, but the branches off the palm trees. And they laid them in front of Jesus. And they were just shouting out, Hosanna! Hosanna to the highest! It's Jesus, our King, our wonderful King. And they had a big old party because Jesus was coming. Can I tell you this? Four days later, the same people that were shouting, Hosanna, Jesus is coming, were shouting, Kill him! Kill him! Kill him! Kill him! What? Seriously? Seriously, you think you got a friend? Four days later, they turned on him. Kill him. Kill him. He's a blasphemer. He said bad things about God. He said bad things about God. He's no good. We want him dead. And they hung him on a tree, on a cross. 
But see, God was in all of that. He was in all of that. Why do you think Jesus went to the cross? Eric, what do you think? Got any, got any ideas on that? Why do you think Jesus went to the cross? To die. To die. Is there, do you think there's a reason for it? I mean, did, did he just go to die? Or? No, he died because he wants to. Um, yes, exactly. That's exactly it. Did, you, did everybody hear Eric here? Yeah. He said he wanted to, that he was to die for our sins. You see, who, who in this room has sinned? Yeah, everybody that's honest is raising their hands right now. Everybody that's honest and understands what I said is raising their hands right now. Every one of us. The Bible says that everybody has sinned. And we fell short of God's plan for us. Okay. You need to leave your hands off of him. All right? Otherwise, I'm going to have to put you in another part of the class. Okay? If there's any re anybody that we should get excited over, you know, Randy Johnson was a great baseball player, and a lot of people got excited to see him, but if there's anybody that we should really get excited for, it should be Jesus. Because Jesus died for our sins. You know what the, do you know what the penalty for sin is? Uh, murder? No, that, that's, that's, there's a, murder is a sin, but do you know what do you know what the consequence of sin is? Do you know what the, the result of sin is? Uh, going to that place. Going to that place? Yeah. What do you think, Reagan? Not obeying God. Not obeying God, Xander. Do you know what the penalty for sin is? Uh, the Bible says that the wages. Of sin, wages means what you earn is death. 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 I'm not going to ask you to raise your hands, but has anybody ever cheated on a test in school or know somebody who cheated on a test in school and got caught? Okay, you don't have to raise your hands. You don't have to raise your hands. But since you raise your hands, what happened to them? They got in trouble. They got in trouble. That was the that was their wage. That was the consequence. That's what they earned. What happened to them, Reagan? Uh, it wasn't you, was it? No. no. It could never be you. <laughs> I wouldn't believe that for a second. You got sent to the principal's office. You know what would usually happen if you got caught cheating on a test? You know, you, you know what score you get on your test? Get zero. The big goose egg. The zero. That's in my class. The big oh, yes. goose egg. I would get 100% on it. That's, but if you get caught cheating, you got zero. That, the big donut, that's right. The big donut. Donut. That is the wage of your cheating. That is what you earn. Wage is something you earn. That's what you earn for cheating. The big donut. Or you get sent to the principal's office. Or you get, you get in trouble. Let me tell you something. If I ever got caught cheating on a test, the principal would be the least of my worries. Because when I got home to my dad, ooh, you know that's going to get right on. That's, that's going to be the scene that's going to show up. Ooh. Right? <laughs> Jesus, because he took the death for us. He took our punishment for us. Think about that. Okay. Pretend. Kaya, pretend you got caught cheating on a test. Now, that would never happen, right? Okay? Let's, let's pretend, and if this is just pretend, you know, that's going to get caught in there, too. <laughs> Kaya got caught cheating on a test. And she's going to get a zero, and she's going to get sent to the principal's office, and Kaylee comes up and says, I love Kaya so much, I'm going to take her zero instead. And I'm going to get sent, I know you never would. 
we are imagining here. Okay? <laughs> and Kaya says, I'm going to take her zero on the test. I'm going to get sent to the principal's office instead of, instead of Kaya. And I'm going to get in trouble from my dad instead of Kaya. Kaya all of a sudden back there just got happy. That's what happened when Jesus went to the cross. He took our punishment. He took our punishment. That should make us happy. We don't have to get punished because Jesus took it. All right, I think it's time we wrap up. Guys, listen. Yeah, Hosanna, Hosanna. Jesus is coming. Yes, we all shout, we sing. And it's a great thing. Just don't be like the people of Israel who turned on him four days later. To kill him! Remember this, that Jesus died so that you don't have to. All right, I go by your heads. By your heads, close your eyes. Father, we thank you. Yes, we sing Hosanna to your name, and we are so grateful that you are our king. Lord, we know that four days later, those same people were screaming to kill you. But we know that there was a reason for that too. That you died for our sins. And we thank you for that. And Lord, we will always love you for that. And we'll always serve you because of that. I pray, Lord, that your blessings would be upon every person here. That they would understand what a great and wonderful thing that you did. And that they too would love you with all of their hearts and with everything that's in them. And now, Lord, as we, as we continue with our class, I pray your blessings on it. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 All right.